Almost a year after Hurricane Michael hit North Carolina, damage caused by the storm remains. A frustrated viewer reached out to CBS 17, worried that a huge branch on top of utility wires will cause problems. He turned to CBS 17 consumer investigator Steve Sprasha to get answers. The bridge that spans Robertson Pond Road passes over Buffalo Creek. This part of the creek is located on Wake County Conservation Land. It's just across the street from the entrance to the Robinson Mill Pond Preserve, where you can still see the remnants of Hurricane Michael. This huge branch came down during that storm, entangling utility lines. It's very unsettling to see a branch hanging over power lines near an entrance to a park. Derek first noticed the branch while exploring the park after the hurricane in 2018. Thinking they were power lines, he called Duke Energy, but nearly a year later, the scene looks the same. The cables parallel this road, but they're below ground all the way until they approach Buffalo Creek. At that point, someone decided they needed to be elevated, so they go up these two poles and they cross over the waterway. That is where the big branch came down, and that's causing the concern. Derek says whoever owns the wires needs to take care of them before service is interrupted. It's something that should be maintained. It should be taken Taken care of. The park's open space manager told me by phone she thought the cables belonged to Spectrum and has been calling them to report it also with no success. But when I examined the area, I saw the pole has tags for SBT&T. That's the old Southern Bell Telephone and Telegraph, which was taken over by AT&T. I've emailed AT&T asking if the cables belong to them, and if so, can they take care of the situation? Trying to find out who owns the cables has been tricky, but once the owner is identified, Derek says he hopes they fix the problem. You still got to take care of your business. You know, you got to take care of your customers. You got to take care of the social responsibility. Uh, just a short time ago, I received an email from an AT&T spokeswoman who said they're now researching that with their North Carolina Engineering and Construction Unit, and they hope to have some answers for us. Working for you, I'm consumer investigator Steve Sprasher.